Hey lovely people, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing wonderfully. This is Curtis T. Meters, and I'm doing this video for my Facebook group, Heirloom Tomato Seeds and Pictures, on this lovely little variety right here. It's not exactly a micro dwarf, it's a dwarf, but it's much shorter than the average dwarf in that <clears throat> I have 10 plants and nothing got over, let's say 18 inches tall, that's about what they got to. I tried them in bigger containers, but they still grew uh, just a little bigger than when I had them in three-quarter gallon size. These are, I guess, two-gallon containers. And the first time I grew them, I grew them in, in quarter, uh, three-quarter gallon. And they just got a little bit smaller than these. So I would think that I, ideally, I would think that maybe one gallon or two gallons probably is fine too. Um, I wouldn't go bigger than two gallons because... They didn't really do anything special in, you know, in these bigger pots. So one to two gallons, I would say. Um, as you can see, these are ripening pretty nicely. Really tasty, firm and crunchy, and really nice uh, acidic Swedish flavor to them. This is, a, this is a really nice tomato. And these, you know, they, they've been grown in mm, not the highest of temperatures. Like some days in the greenhouse, there was no heat and it was... It stayed 45 in there for all for two days in a row, three days. Then it would get a little hot again, and so on and so on. And so these came through the, the cooler weather and produced these tomatoes, and they're just now starting to produce. I, I would say they have a bit of an indeterminate habit uh, in that they just they just keep going and going. So I would take it that they're an indeterminate variety. They're not a they're not a semi dwarf or semi sorry they're not a, they're not a semi determinate variety. So I would say they I would say that they're indeterminates. Um, I'll have to read up on that but as you can see they produce like little stick trees from the bottom to the top and I had to exercise a lot of control just to be able to leave these on the plants so I can do this video but I really wanted to eat some of them which I will do now once the video is done. Uh, I, I've been eating a few but not many but some of these are gonna get eaten. The fruit is crunchy and nice, nice nice flavor, a really nice salad tomato. Plants are, plants are reasonably prolific and they keep going so you know you will get fruits all through this all through the season and um one or two gallon pots make sure and water them really well rugose leaves as you can see nice and curled and nice looking plants really nice looking plants i have 10 plants uh, in the greenhouse right now well five because five are out here with me and they're all ripening like this they're all starting to ripen in the same very same way and um they're coming on fast and I'm going to be having seeds on my website pretty soon at renaissancefarms.org you want to try this, this is Curly Kaylee really nice tomato and thanks for watching this video once again this is Curly Kaylee I would say they were, when you when it first started they were a little bit slow to start meaning that the plants take a little while to get going but once they get going they, they get into their thing pretty pretty rapidly so if you do get these have patience with them in the beginning, but they will reward you. You will have plenty, plenty rewards all season long. This is a must try. Curly Kaylee. Thanks for watching. I appreciate and love you. And I shall talk to you soon. Bye bye.